<laughs> Hi everybody, thanks so much for joining today. Uh, we'll do everything today from a chair. So just make sure that you have you know, a chair that's nice and steady and firm, nothing with wheels. Uh, you might want to have a strap or a towel nearby just for your comfort, depending on the height of your chair. You want to come forward where you can have your feet squarely on the ground, nice and planted. Think about just, you know, a nice firm seat in the chair, nice and steady, and then a nice straight spine. So bring your shoulders up, back and down so that your chest is nice and open. Think about your heart being wide open along with your chest. And then think about a string on the top of your head pulling your the top of your head up toward the sky and that's going to bring your chin down just a little bit and then let your arms just fall wherever they fall naturally that's not going to pull your shoulders out of alignment so usually mine just kind of fall in my lap either palms down or palms up whatever feels comfortable to you so we'll just close our eyes down for a minute and we'll just get grounded and centered we're right here. Just be grateful that you have given your body and your mind this time just to devote to being right here. We don't need to bring any other worries into this time. So we'll start by just taking a few deep inhales. You can feel your belly fill and then feel your breath spreading up into your rib cage and then opening up your chest so a big inhale like a three-part belly ribs chest and then exhale draining out any anxiety any worry any fatigue and we'll just do a few of those big belly breath big full exhale you can even imagine as your feet feel nice and planted on the on the ground imagine that they have four corners to each foot and you're planting them very squarely so then with your inhales you can even imagine as you inhale energy coming up through your feet up through your legs through your hips through your torso all the way to the top of your head so let's do a few breaths like that so inhale up through the feet up through your whole body picture it at the crown of your head and then exhale and imagine it all the exhale just washing out down your body and back into the earth so a few of those And we'll talk about the breath again we're going to spend a lot of time talking about the breath but there's four parts to the breath so there's the inhale coming all the way up there's the pause there's the exhale as you let everything wash out and then there's another pause so you can even a way to kind of come into your body and remove any other thoughts is just to count all four parts of that breath inhale pause exhale pause again and then I'm gonna do and I invite you to join me just three big inhales and then I'll hum on the exhale which is really nice this vibration uh, it's really soothing for your nervous system even when you have a sore throat it can be good um, so I'll just I'll do that together now so a big inhale mm -hmm. second one mm -hmm. Mm. 
I think that it, it sounds weird, but it's so soothing. I do that a lot when I'm driving, especially if I feel like a little sore throat or something coming on. Just do that deep inhale and hum, and it, it's fairly soothing. So we'll do all kinds of little weird things like that. And I want, I love your feedback. If you like these things and you want to know more of them, I'm happy to. I'll sprinkle these throughout the classes. Okay, so let's go back to bringing in a little bit of movement. We can do our shoulders up, back, and down again. You can make them nice and exaggerated. Bring the breath in. Inhale up. Exhale down. You can bring your whole arms into it. Mine are like snap, crackle, pop. And then when you're ready, you can change rotation. You, know, you can do this that I'm doing with my arm, or you can have them nice and big, whatever your body is feeling. This, this is, what we'll do is go through our whole body and go really through every part of our body and do things where we're left, right, left, right. And it's a great way to bring awareness into where things might be out of balance. So you might notice, oh, this shoulder is catching, or oh, this hip is tight. And it's just such a good thing to do to spend time bringing awareness into your body so that you know if something's going on. So maybe if you, you weren't really aware that one hip's tight, but now you are, then when you need to go lift something, you might be more aware of like, oh, I think I'll, I'll use my <laughs> stronger leg to lift and even avoid injury just by having awareness. So... It really is always time well spent to just check in and tune in and, and breathe. Bring awareness into your body. Okay, so we're getting our shoulders nice and warmed up. Again, let's go back to the neck. I started that earlier, but so bring your right ear toward your right shoulder. And just breathe, lengthen. Think about a nice line from your shoulder to the top of your head. And every time you exhale, just allowing that to get a little longer. We don't think about it, but during the day, every time we, you know, get upset or something bothers us, we tend to kind of bring it into our shoulders. And so it's so useful to just spend time releasing that tension. And the more we do it, the more we're aware of when tension does creep in. And it's like, oh, no, I'm not allowing that tension to creep in because then I'm just going to have to spend time letting it go later. <laughs> so you'll notice, like, oh, after I have a phone call with my sister <laughs> or, you know, a coworker or whatever, I feel all tight. And you can begin to kind of connect how to maybe avoid bringing that tension in. Okay, so now we'll bring our necks over to the other side. Left ear to left shoulder or whichever side you did. Go to the opposite. And again, we're kind of trying to bring our ear toward our shoulder, not the shoulder toward the ear. Big inhale. Nice long exhale. We'll spend a little time lengthening on this side. And then if, you, if it feels good to your neck, and again, this is where you pay attention to what your personal neck wants to do, but you can do little gentle half circles. And if it feels good, see about bringing your chin to the ceiling. Again, think about your shoulders down, that we're just opening up all through our chest and heart region. It really is amazing how our moods can are tied to our bodies. And so even just when you're feeling down or upset, like just the physical act of opening up your chest, lifting your chin up can really make a difference. So that's something I've really, I've learned <laughs> is to, to connect my mood to what my body's doing and try to 
just strengthen that connection and let my body help out my mood and vice versa. Okay, let's do a little more opening here. If you can, bring your hands behind your back and clasp them. Opening up again, even wider through the chest. Just wherever you can hold, get your hands to, to grab. And then if you can, you can lift them up even a little higher. Again, this is another place just to breathe. Be gentle with yourself. Open. But you can surprise yourself sometimes how, how open you can get. And the places that aren't open, it's a great place to put awareness on like, oh, okay, this is something I want to work on. And even just watching movies at night, instead of being all hunched forward, you might choose to you know, reverse that posture and open up. And take like two more big inhales in this pose. Full exhale. Okay. Uh, now let's bring our arms forward or your left arm and open up your wrist this is great after typing all day just pull it down again gently breathe into where you feel any tension tightness and then just release that with the exhale you can go up Make little circles with your wrist. Now I'll do the other hand. Mine's all snap, crackle, pop. You can bring it down. I hope you guys can see me okay. And you can come off mute and ask questions if you have any questions. Just stretching out wrists and roll them. I like to shake them side to side. Just shake it all out like pretty firm where you're, you feel your blood running into your fingertips. And then you can do it this way, like a weird little wave. And do this anytime at your desk. Just You just need a break and a wake up. I'd love to see the Grenadierians all over the office sitting in their desks rolling out their shoulders opening up their chests all this is okay to do at your office desk john and anthony said it's fine okay let's start bringing our torso and hips into the mix so one thing i like to do is just like a little chair walk to just get things warmed up so you just take your hips and walk back in your chair just take little steps and then go forward so we'll just do this for a minute and I'm just considering starting music I don't know if that would be if, how that'll sound on the recording I might just skip it is it weird just being quiet <laughs> okay how are you guys? I wish I could see you guys, but I know this is exactly why you have your monitors, your cameras off, because you don't want people watching you do this. And again, don't forget, don't hold your breath. Think about what your breath is doing while you're doing this. Big inhales, big exhales. This is getting our hips nice and warmed up. And for sure, if you want to have a towel under you to soften under your hips, feel free to do that. I might do that. Okay. So let's do a little, just like we loosened up our 
hands, let's do our feet, ankles. So just bring your, we can start with left foot, do some nice ankle circles. You can probably hear mine popping. So just do to the left, to the right. You can support your hand or your under your leg with your knees, or you can just hold it out if you want to test your muscle strength. And wherever you can get it out there, see if you can hold it a little bit. You can even bring your abs into it. I've been running, so I my hamstrings are tight. Okay, let's do the other leg. So just start with the ankle rolls. Nice and gentle. To the other side. And then just some, just pushing out with your heel. See about extending your leg. And then see if you want to hold it. Mm. Okay, so now a little more hip opening. You can do windshield wipers. So you're just doing your knees from side to side. Getting our hips opened up. And I've got my toes kind of pointed to give my legs a little more room to wiggle. But yeah, hopefully you're feeling your hips kind of loosening up, opening up. We carry so much tension and tightness lots of times in our hips. They just, they don't get a lot of attention. We're sitting all the time. So it is just always good to bring movement, awareness, breath. Okay, so let's go back to the left leg and see how it feels about doing a big circle. Just bring your knee up and out. And just take your time. If it's little circles, that's fine. If they want to get bigger and more open, you can play with how far out you can get. So this is a great place to compare, like <clears throat> how is your left doing compared to your right. Okay, let's see how right is doing. And you don't have to use your knee or your hand to support you, but I find it helpful. See if you can get it open. All the way to the side. Yeah, I would say mine are not completely the same. I think right's a little tighter. Okay, so now let's bring our hands out. So we're gonna clasp them and push them out ahead of us. And then inhale and see if you can bring them up right above you without pulling your shoulders so tight. Like try to keep your shoulders down away from your ears, but have your hands clasped and pushing straight up. And then exhale down. Hmm. Open up. You should be a little more open through your chest because we stretched through there earlier. Okay, so forward. Inhale up. Exhale down. And then 
clasp behind, push your chest forward. Forward again. Inhale up. Exhale down. Open up that chest. Okay. So we kind of have everything a little limbered up. We did our feet, our ankles, hips. So let's see, let's see how your knees are doing. Um, bring your right leg straight out and bring your left knee, uh, ankle to cross your ankle. And you can stay here or you can slide your leg up and cross it and just see how, how far can you get it up. Can you get it up over your knee? And then if so, let that knee come down and we're gonna, it's gonna kind of open up our inner thigh. So you're making kind of like a number four if you can, or you're down here crossed and you're opening. I don't know how well you can see. So left ankle crossed over the right, opening the inner thigh. You're kind of pushing this knee gently again. If anything's feeling weird in that knee joint, don't force it. We're just opening. So I'm going to bring my, my ankle over my knee and breathe and push that left knee away to open up my inner thigh. And this is a great place just to spend a few breaths. And wherever you feel tightness, just breathe into that area and then exhale. And just imagine it lengthening, loosening. <sighs> okay. Can you, and if you can, go ahead and cross that leg all the way over. And we'll do a little spinal twist. So you have your left leg over your right, then your right hand over your left knee. And then just turn behind you. Think about your, so your, your back is nice and straight. Your spine is going to twist like a spiral staircase. And you're squeezing through your abdomen and exhaling everything out as you twist. So it's like wringing out a rag. So just big inhale and then each exhale, see if you can twist and release just a little bit more. So inhale, exhale, twist. You might feel it in your back. Don't, again, push any deeper than you feel comfortable. And do one more big inhale. And squeeze on the exhale. Okay, so now we'll come back forward, start on the other side. So again, bring in your left leg over your right ankle and just see where you're comfortable there, opening up this right inner thigh. Kind of push that knee away, breathe into that. Wherever you might feel it, you might be, feel it through your hip. But just make sure, yeah, if, you're, if your knee isn't like, doesn't like this movement, just stay nice and lower wherever it feels comfortable to you. It's okay to stretch a little past your comfort, but you don't want to push into pain. So I'm going to come up higher. Opening that hip. Breathing into it. Okay, and then if you want, you can cross that knee over. Sit up nice and straight. Put your right or your left hand over your right knee and then turn around. Grab the chair behind you. 
keeping the spine nice and straight twist so big inhale and nice long exhale I always like to just think about it. it's like I'm squeezing my organs as I twist and squeezing out any toxins so you breathe in nice rich clean fresh air squeeze and exhale out anything your body doesn't need and do one more big breath exhale okay so now let's come back forward again I think I might shift my chair a little bit so we're going to come up to a nice tall seat and then think about starting to hinge at the waist hinge forward and I like to use my hands to push against my knees or my hips and I'm lengthening my spine nice and long and sometimes depending on your chest and belly I, I like having my legs apart it gives me lots of room to come down but just at your own pace you're just gently pushing your hips firmly into the chair while you stretch your spine nice and long and just see how far do you want to go how deep do you want to bend you'll feel it in your low back all through your spine if you're comfortable you can let your head hang and depending on how deep you go you can put your hands on the floor and then yeah just wiggle lengthen go deeper if you want if you need to just sit up and take a break do that but we're just going to spend a little time here and this is nice it's compressing our belly it helps with digestion this is why i was like don't eat a big full meal before you do this because you don't necessarily want to fold in half but just see how how deep your spine or your bend wants to go spend a little time here take a break if you need it i'm gonna let my head hang let my neck lengthen you can roll your jaw this is a great place to roll your jaw like shake your head no shake it yes just really think about all the muscles in your face let them relax nobody's looking at you you guys can't see my face <laughs> i can let everything droop and hang breathe into your low back feel it lengthen don't hold any tension in your shoulders let it just drain out okay i'm gonna gently roll up one vertebrae at a time roll my shoulders up back and down kind of reset and then prepare to do that again and see if i can go a little deeper so knees wide as wide as you want them Just hinge at the hips bring your chest forward straight again you can push against your knees if that helps to lengthen your spine or you can just reach to the ground we're going for long spine forward fold long neck and just and it feels good to fill your belly when it's folded that really is it's putting pressure on your organs and eating and digestion again don't hold any tension in your neck here 
let it fall. Hopefully my microphone's not being all noisy for you. Let your neck, your head hang heavy. Roll your jaw around. Mine's clicking. This is another thing, just to, it's great to pay attention. We'll spend a little time at the end of the class on like a face massage. I went to the dentist years ago and he told me I needed a very expensive mouth guard because I was grinding my teeth. And then after a couple years of learning more about yoga and everything, I learned I just had to mindfully release tension from my jaw and release stress from my life. <laughs> and I didn't need a mouth guard, I needed to connect why am I grinding my teeth. So there's so many things uh, I've learned through just paying more attention to my body that it's like, oh, I don't need as much of the uh, expensive medical care if I will just pay attention. So that's, these are the kinds of things I love to share. And if anybody wants, has questions afterwards, um, I'm here to sit and chat or you can email me with anything. And if I don't know it, I know a lot of smarter people <laughs> that I can connect you to to help answer questions. Okay, so I, I came back up to uh, sitting. If you're still folded over, just come back up gently. One vertebrae at a time. Okay, I had you guys bring uh, tools and stuff. I'm not sure if everybody has straps. Um, so maybe we'll skip that stuff today. We'll do one more little nice shoulder exercise. That This is my favorite to do when I'm sitting at my desk and I do notice tension creeping in. So get your left arm first and just make an L right in front of you. And then get your right arm and see if you can bring it underneath and then back through. So it's a little weird looking. Um, but you're basically trying to work your hands where you have your palms touching. And then you put, you press your palms together, which you'll start to feel a release on the top of your shoulders and the back of your neck as you press your palms together and your elbows are locked together. And see if you can bring your elbows high. And you know, if you're down here, you're still gonna feel it if you press your arms together, you'll feel a little release through your shoulders. So however deep you can get that stretch and don't, over, don't, don't force it. You sh but if you feel that gentle pull through your shoulders, that's what we're looking for. So just breathe here. <sighs> Let go of any tension. We'll do one more breath on this side. Okay, release. Do a little reset. Shoulder roll. You kind of can't do too many of these. <laughs> okay, and then we'll put our right arm up. Swoop your left arm under it and then back around. See if you can get your palms together. Press them together. Elbows, raise your elbows up if you can. And just feel that nice stretch across the back of your shoulders, the top of your shoulders. Breathe into that. Release with the exhale. Any tension, any tightness. And really, I invite you to just pay attention this week. If you notice the things in your life that cause your body to tighten up and see if there's something, even just while you're in the conversation, while you feel it happening, just drop your shoulders, open your chest. Think about not bringing in tension or allowing tension to come in that you're later going to have to work 
to let it out and and you'll little bitty baby steps <laughs> you really do notice an overall difference in your body so okay um, so yeah uh, because we're doing chair yoga I'm not gonna do a, a Shavasana at the end like I typically will um, so we'll just do kind of a seated relaxation uh, so I invite you to get back into your kind of mountain type pose where you feel your seat is nice and planted your feet are nice and planted shoulders up back and down heart open head pulled toward the sky I really like I have kind of a respect for this posture be, uh, before we go into relaxation and then meditation because it, it's like you're thinking of your body connecting the earth and the sky and so it's like it's like a, a way to kind of show respect for the way we connect uh, the earth to the heavens and really thinking of our body as, as a, a conduit so you can again visualize your breath however you like to think about it whether you're breathing energy up through your feet and then exhaling into the ground you can imagine breathing in air through your nostrils and like imagine it's blue cold air and when it hits your nostrils it begins to warm and turns orange and red and heats inside your lungs and then you exhale it and it becomes blue again like there's so many things you can do just different visuals but I invite you to allow your body to it's this is like an active resting pose so you have a nice alert spine um, again yeah this is a good time let's bring our hands to our faces and bring you can tap over your eyebrows or massage whatever feels good to you to bring kind of awareness it's like waking everything up before we go into a little brief meditation so I'm tapping on my cheekbones and if you'd rather massage but just spend a little time tugging on your ears massage tapping just get into those little areas where there's tension that we don't even pay attention to and breathe and allow that to just release so a little self massage you can go on your neck right under your skull you'll find the little spots that want your fingers attention smoothing down your neck pulling down your shoulders again opening your chest and your heart okay so just find a comfortable place to rest your hands think about your full body posture visualize your breath either in a way I described or whatever comes to your imagination think about the three parts of the breath or the three parts of the belly breath and then the four parts of every breath so you're going to inhale notice the pause exhale notice the pause and just for the next little bit we're going to practice simply paying attention to our breath try not to let other thoughts interrupt thoughts about anything in life they will pop in but the point we're going to practice right now is you notice if you're thinking and then you just let it pass you just let it go like a cloud passing or even a car passing by you see it but you don't engage with it you let it pass 
And so we're going to just place our attention on our breath, feel it in our bodies, keep our attention with that. And when you notice that something other than that has popped in, just be aware. Maybe it takes a second to notice it. Maybe it takes a full minute. It's not bad. It will happen. <laughs> but you just... When you notice it, let it go and return your attention to your breath. So see if you can follow 10 breaths, counting up and then counting back down. And if you get interrupted, you just start over. And you can think about putting your, like if you have your eyes closed, you can look ahead at the wall if you'd like, or you can have your eyes closed, but think about putting your gaze between your eyebrows. That's where you want to place your attention. following the breath and you can scan your body if you notice that you're holding tension somewhere just let it go with the exhale And this is just a great thing to do any time in the day to take a minute to just close your eyes, breathe, scan your body. And when you find tension sometimes that doesn't want to go, you can be curious about it. Like, why is that there? What, what can I do to release that? And just in the benefits of awareness and letting go of it, it's just, it, it's like we don't even know <laughs> how good it is for us to just pay attention, be good to our bodies. Scan your face, make sure you're not holding tension there. Allow your cheeks to relax. Your tongue loose in your mouth, relaxed. Your eyes. Imagine your forehead just smoothing out. Your eyebrows drifting apart because your face is so relaxed. Feel it spread into your shoulders. They open up. Your heart open. Feel your low back relaxing. Your hips melt into the chair. Thighs, your knees might open a little wider and your feet firmly on the ground. Just a few more moments here, following your breath, scanning, releasing any tightness. And spend just the next minute really in conversation with your own body. If there's anything it's asking for, any little stretching, opening, movement. I know I've had you sitting in a chair quite a while, so your hips might be talking to you. So just do any little stretches to get yourself comfortable.
Okay. I'm going to do three more of those big inhales with a nice hum. So again, I invite you to join me if you'd like. Hmm. Do a big inhale. Hmm. to heart center you can place your hands over your heart if you'd like but just take a moment to be grateful for the time you spent breathing stretching paying attention to your body listening to what it has to say thank you so much for spending this time with me have a beautiful day namaste